To further improve the player's controls, we can add a variable jump height in. Now many games, such as Super Mario Bros., detect how long you're holding down the up key for, or the jump key, and then adjusting your jump height based on the duration of the key hold. Uh, we can see in our game, when we press the key, we jump up to the same height no matter what, even if we hold it down a bit longer. So we'll fix that. Let's go and edit our player script. We want to go find where we trigger the jumping to happen. That'll be, that'll probably be when you press the up arrow. So go and find that. Here's mine. Now I'm going to remove the blocks from here because I want to slightly rework how jumping works. So this was allowing us to do a double jump. I'm going to remove that. I just want to detect if the Y velocity equals zero. That means I'm on the ground and I'm not falling or jumping. So we want, from control flow, we want the if block. Operators, we want equals. Operators again, we want equals zero. And then in here, we want to detect if our y velocity equals zero. So that's from physics. Velocity x, change that to y. So if our velo y velocity is zero, we're going to allow a jump to happen. That means setting the y velocity, set velocity y, to a negative number. Let's try a negative 400. It's going to be a fairly weak jump, but we're going to make it continue to push us up if we hold that button down longer. Now we're going to go into our constantly block here, and we're going to detect if the up arrow is being pressed, and we're going to give the player more velocity wire to make them continue to jump up. So we need an if block from control flow. Let's put that, uh, let's put that down here. Constantly if. Now, from, uh, from events, we can grab this purple block under the keyboard section. If a key is pressed, key backspace delete press, change that to your up key. Mine's the up arrow. Yours may be W or something else. So there's the up arrow. If up arrow is pressed, I want to keep setting the velocity Y to negative 400. So I'm going to duplicate that block. Now let's test this out. We know that constantly, if we hold down that key, it should push us up. Let's see what happens. So I jump, and I can actually keep flying. As long as I hold down that up key, I will keep flying. Now that's not quite what we want. We're halfway there. 